Welcome to the first annual South African electric car test charged by Autotrader. So it's on. It's on. Ready to go. And then, oh, yeah, yeah. It's like golf cart vibes. Exactly. This is a, a great way to be introduced to an electric vehicle. It's my first time in an electric car. Okay. Do you see what range anxiety does? Four kilometers. Three percent. Three kilometers. I would rather us not get stuck on this side of. Thing, but there's no reception and we have to wait for them to realize that we haven't yeah. come around. That's the reason we're doing these tests, is to show people that uh, it is actually better technology. I think we're going to have to over. I mean, I can't... Zero, zero, zero. zero. Join us as we put the Jaguar I-Pace, the Mini Cooper SE and the BMW i3 Rex through a series of challenges. We're here today to set the first national benchmark for electric mobility on South African soil. Today we will be performing an open road simulation designed to test the individual car's capability to travel distance on a single charge without using regenerative braking. This on a typically hot South African day. Our teams will be traveling around a high speed oval at a true speed of 120 kilometers an hour with the cruise control activated and their air conditioning system set to 21 degrees Celsius. These cars won't benefit from the additional charge they would have received from their respective regenerative braking systems, which use kinetic energy to recharge the battery during deceleration. This test will therefore determine a potentially worst case scenario range and set the first national benchmark for electric cars in the South African climate. Sean, what do you think is going to happen? I think it's really interesting because we've got the Jaguar I-Pace with a really big battery pack mm. and then you've got a car like the Mini Cooper SSE that's got a really small battery pack so it's going to be really interesting to see how much the lightweight car with the small battery pack how much distance that can cover without regen but it's also going to be interesting to see a second gen uh, car like the I-Pace sort of try and cover as much distance as possible it's quite a an interesting test and then you've got the I-3 which is sort of the middleman of the situation so quite fascinated to see what they can achieve. Away, I'm Jason Goliath. I'm a comedian, actor, presenter, an all-round lovely, lovely, lovely person. My partner for the day is a bra named George from Auto Trader, who's very handsome. So I don't know if he's like the face. I'm gonna figure out what his role is, but I think he's one of those people that uses duty-free products on his face. You know those handsome men for no reason. So it will be handsome and the beast. Is that a movie? Hi, my name is George Minnie. I'm a CEO of the biggest automotive brand in South Africa, Auto Trader. So I've been paired up with the comedian Jason Goliath. Maybe a little bit against my will. George and Jason will be driving the Jaguar I-Pace, weighing in the 2.2 tons with a combined driver weight of 210 kilograms. This long range EV has an advertised range for up to 470 kilometers, a gross battery capacity of 90 kilowatt hours, and an average energy consumption of 22 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Its starting price at the time was just under 2 million rand. What's up guys, my name is Donovan Goliath, one third of comedy trio Goliath and Goliath. Um, I do comedy, I'm a creative director, I, uh, I do a lot of things. Teammate, um, I know his name is Richard, uh, we're both geeks, you know, we like tech. Hello everybody, my name is Richard Nwamba, I am the Operations Director at SoSocial, as well as The Motorist, uh, online publication. My teammate today is now Donovan Goliath. Um, he seems like a fun guy. Donovan and Richard will be driving the Mini Cooper SE, weighing in at 1.3 tons with a combined driver weight of 186 kilograms. This city-focused EV has an advertised range of up to 215 kilometers, with a gross battery capacity of 32.6 kilowatt hours and an energy consumption figure of 17.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Its starting price is 686,000 Rand. So, I'm Nicholas Goliath. I am a comedian and my teammate is Juliet and um, I think that she's going to be the better driver. Hi, I'm Juliet Maguire. I am a motoring journalist and I have been for 14 years. My EV partner today is Nicholas. 
I find him so far the more quiet of the brothers, the cousins, in friends, you know, Goliaths. Juliet and Nicholas will be driving the BMW i3 S E Drive Rex, weighing in at 1.2 tons and with a combined driver weight of 146.8 kilograms. This EV has an advertised range of up to 285 kilometers, a gross battery capacity of 42.2 kilowatt hours, and an average energy consumption rate of just 13 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Its starting price at the time of filming was 754,200 rand. For the purpose of this test, the range extender will not be used. And we are off. So we are, we are setting the cruise control at 120 true speed, so GPS speed. Cruise control activated. Here comes an auto. This is a, a great way to be introduced to an electric vehicle. It's my first time in an electric car. Okay. Actually, but the biggest problem I've had with electric cars is that they, they've never looked nice until yes. now. And you're 100% right. I couldn't have said it better. I feel like this is, um, what is the movie? Like a Back, Back to the Future. To the future. Yes. This is, if you didn't drive a DeLorean, it'd be in an i3. These um, electric SUVs are smaller than the average SUV. Listen, it, 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 I was looking at it from the front and it looks like it should have Lambo doors. Like it's got that type of aggression in the design. This i has got the Lamborghini wheel arches. That's ah, what I think. That's exactly what it is. So it's a Lambo without the wah, it's just like, exactly. it, it's very, it's very, very relaxed. Like it feels like I'm in a, in a vehicle that somebody spent a lot of money insulating so that it's quiet, luxurious. Like I'm not at this moment, I'm not missing an engine noise. No. We're officially at the first driver changeover and our teams have been traveling at a constant speed of 120 kilometers an hour with cruise control activated. Let's see how they're doing. Okay, so this is a very interesting thing. Um, earlier on, uh, they asked me, what do you think uh, you're going to get out of this car in terms of range? And yes. I was like, because I don't know. Like, yes. I've never done the research. So I said, like, I don't know, 500 Ks <laughs> in my mind. In your mind. And then we jumped in and it said, what? 126, if I'm not mistaken? Something like that. And I was like, no, surely not. But then I go, okay, cool. 126, if we're driving it at a consistent speed. Yes. And, you know, we're doing all of these things and we're in green mode. Yes. We probably use about 10% of the battery. We've used 40%. <laughs> of the battery already. Um, so when we started, we were on 206 Ks. Hmm. I asked Nick what he thought we would do, and you said? I said we're gonna do 190 Ks. Okay, and we're now, we've done an hour's drive. Battery's at 30.5%, we've got 55 Ks left. But we have done 120 Ks, which means we should technically get to 170, but if I apply the same logic I did earlier with the 206 to 190 then i think we'll probably get to about 150 150 k's yeah total i think it might be less really well once we start again it's going to drop oh, probably yes. so we might only get to like 140 140 so between 140 and 140 145 that's a team answer yeah 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 it's a team answer <laughs> the average all right 56 percent battery 227 kilometers of range left good job good job Okay, one time. We're only stopping because I need to pee. Perhaps you can run us through just how you actually drive an electric vehicle. We know we've got one pedal technology and we've got regenerative braking as you mentioned, but how does that actually work for a consumer? Would you, would you think that somebody would need maybe a bit of training on driving a vehicle like that? I think you definitely need uh, a, a test drive, at least in the test car, just, uh, I mean in an electric car, to see if it's the sort of thing that would work for you. An electric vehicle's got instantaneous torque delivery, yes. so it takes some getting used to because the acceleration, even in an entry level um, EV like the Mini Cooper SE, it's uh, still quite a fast car for yeah. what it is, so it yeah. can take you by surprise. Okay, we are now starting the car. Listen, that's that's that, all you hear. That's Just the a ignition. Whee! Yeah. Whee! Very Jetson. <laughs> so it's not going to start like a normal car, right? No, because you expect that. Oh. Are you missing the? Like the just the to let you know, because I, I literally don't know if this thing is on or not. No, it's oh. not on. Nothing's. Nothing's happened. You just won't hear that. That's the only thing you've done yet. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. She's so, on. So it's on, on. It's on, on. So it's on. It's on. Ready to go. And then. Oh! Yeah! Yeah, 
it's like golf cart vibes. Exactly. Like golf but cart vibes. Very, very nice golf cart vibes. Okay. Right wow. hand lane. Right hand lane. Okay, here we go. Talk. Here's your talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is so weird for it's me. It's so weird. It's so weird that it's so quick. It's so weird. I don't understand. Yeah, I quite exactly. like that. I quite like Ooh, it sounds nice as well. What I've experienced so far is I come out of a 5 Series and I can't complain for comfort. This is as comfortable a place to be. Maybe I'm simplifying this a bit too much, but it feels like, remember when the QWERTY keyboard was the biggest revolution in cell phone technology? And I wasn't sure about this touch screen thing. And is it the same as where, because we love petrol so much and we're so used to it, it's hard for us to imagine a car being something else. Exactly, think about, think about the, the days before uh, ICE vehicles. Yeah. Um, horse and horse trailer. drawn characters. Yeah. It's literally like going, why have you got uh, that old Motorola that takes the full SIM card. Some of you are too young to know that thing. It looked like a credit card in the back. Yes, it's Why have you still oh. got that phone <coughs> when you could have iPhone 13? A lot of people ask me, well, how long is South Africa going to take to become, you know, 100% EVs? It's a very mathematical question. If we replace at a rate of about 300,000 cars a year, yeah, and we've got 12 million cars. 12 million... It's going to take you about 30 years to replace the entire fuel. Yeah. Uh, I hate that the more laps I do, the more I'm realizing that to be resistant to electric vehicles is being resistant to change. And that's the reason we're doing these tests, is to show people that uh, it is actually better technology. Oh yeah, so uh, we've just stopped. I jumped in, it was just under 56%. We are now on 13% battery. We've got 54 kilometers left. And I am converted because it was quite a magical, probably the easiest uh, 120 kilometers of my life of driving. The original range started off at 410. And it says we've got 54 kilometers to go. So if you believe the 54 kilometers plus the 240, we're gonna get to about 294. I don't believe we're going to do 54. I think you can take about, probably about 15 kilometers off that. I think we're going to get another 40 k's out of this. I think we're going to get 30 k's more. You think we're going to get 30 k's more? Yeah. Which still take us from 240 to about 270, maybe 280. You think about 240 is your absolute worst case. 37 oh, kilometers with 21% battery. We're on 12%. We've lost 1% yeah. on half a lap. <laughs> it is what it is. Don't take his range. I just see that now. An eight percent battery. battery. I would rather us not get stuck on this side of the thing, but there's no reception, and we have to wait for them to realise that we haven't yeah. come around. So range anxiety is not new to non-electric car owners. It's the same like when your petrol light comes on and you're on the long oh, road. Yes. Do you see uh, what range anxiety four does? Four kilometers, three percent, or three kilometers. I think we're going to have to pull over. I mean, I can't. Oh, oh the, the I3's gone. The I3's gone. Yeah, we left lane. My heart. We're going to have to We've passed them. We've passed Come them. Come on. Yes. They will send people to find us. Hopefully. Um, only because you're here. We're behind you and we're on 3%. Oh, huh? oh the screen just went off. Okay, cruise control it's just happening. switched off. Screen off. That is dramatic. Aircon off. Aircon immediately gone. It's on 1%, one kilometer to go. <laughs> when it says 1%, it tells you one kilometer. Yes. It is very accurate. <laughs> Don't waste what little, we got two kilometers here. There's no, there's no time for, for fancy pants things. We are in the middle lane now. I think we can make it, Rich. We can make it. On 1% now. We can make it. Yes! Come on, 1%! Be an iPhone 1%! Zero percent. Alright, the jag is gone, the jag is gone. Zero, zero, zero. zero. <laughs> the results are in. The Mini Cooper SE drove a distance of 147 kilometers and 730 meters in a time of 1 hour and 14 minutes at an average speed of 119 kilometers an hour. The BMW i3 SE Drive Rex drove a distance of 168 kilometers and 527 meters in a time of 1 hour and 24 minutes 
at an average speed of 120 km per hour. And finally, the Jaguar I-Pace drove a distance of 277 km and 311 meters in a time of 2 hours and 18 minutes at an average speed of 119.9 km per hour. So, uh, at the end of day one, I think it's fair to say that um, it's, your life will work out based on the car you've chosen. And I've got that Jaguar lifestyle. I feel, <laughs> I, feel, I feel great. It is evident in the range. And I'm yeah. not saying size and length matters, but sometimes it does. Yeah. Well, I mean, when it comes to batteries, it does. Thank you very it much. Does, it does. This was so. supposed to be a wrap up of day one is, and not a gloat session. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> of, of the extended one. range. We will then speak about that. Okay. okay. Huge surprise. Um, I must be honest. Like, we, I started off thinking that this car's got a range of about 500 Ks. Yeah. And then got in. I was, was like, no, this is no shocked. <laughs> and uh, once that what, range anxiety. Range once anxiety. The, guys, yeah. we felt range anxiety. <laughs> and it's a, it's a real thing. Like, we started stressing because we did not want to get stuck at all. Because we would have been those guys that get yeah. stuck in the worst not possible true. place. Now not there's true. no communication. Yeah. Yeah. I think what comes surprised, what surprised me the most was I'd never driven my Jag down to below 15%. And the fact that when it got to zero and you switched it off, dash turned red and it would not switch back on. Ooh. Really? Ooh. You see, you don't want to see a red screen. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't yeah. want to see a red It's like the old yeah. blue screen yeah. on the yeah. laptop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look, I was also surprised, Don, because I, I was expecting like a 600k range, because I was comparing yeah. to, to Pet normal yeah. petrol. Yeah. 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 So I was expecting at least 600, maybe 500, and then, and then we got one. <laughs> We got a 168, which yeah. was, <laughs> was. I'm so happy that we were just, just driving the same. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine nice. if I thought we were going to Durban and then you just kick it? We must give the i3 some respect because it's the oldest car here and, and it still, still looks lovely, oh, yeah. like something yeah, like from the future. Yeah, you have to. What, what these cars do, because like, it's so accurate. Once you get to 1%, you have got one yeah. percent. There's no I know no, my car mentality. Yes, and because yeah. I know my car can give you just yes. that. Yeah. And it's yeah, like it's like car. it's like yes. your phone. When you look at the empty and then you look at the Personally, tomorrow I have no idea what we're experiencing. I think we did a lot here today. I feel like we are gonna experience a lot more range anxiety. I know we I feel we so shouldn't have said it. Yeah. Now they're gonna give it to us. I feel like that's gonna happen, but I think it's gonna be interesting to drive all these cars, especially for the guys who haven't. I mean, we've spent a little bit of time in these electric cars, mm -hmm. but I think it's going to be a good basis for you guys to see what they drive like on a on a normal everyday. Yes. You know, yeah. Like, like yeah. during the, the people. Shop, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. During people. Yes, yeah. yeah. during the people. <laughs> during the people. <laughs> I think we're going to get less. I was saying, I thought we were going to get less distance in around town because no. that's normally what happens but then it's the reverse, reverse. yeah, yeah. Tools reverse. Is regenerative my boy yeah. regenerative breaking i learned words today i don't know how to spell it yet but i pronounce it on you point you know what they should call it when you are on that one percent when your car is losing yeah. it, it's road shedding Oh. It is perfect. You are fixated oh, on this 1%. Oh, no, guys, so we well. have the 1% life. The <laughs> Let's go. I think Can we're we done. We've got 1% left of power road left, road left road in road 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 us. Hashtag Electric Artists. Ba, 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 ba. Join us for day two of the annual South African Electric Car Test, charged by Auto Trader, as we take these electric cars in a city driving simulation test, which showcases just how well they perform as an everyday drive. Yeah.